everybody. Hello. Hey. I'm uh, Nathan Brown. This is Liam Brown. That's Beth Brown. You should know who we are by now. Uh, anyway, um, just reading through James and something that really stuck out to me was how from now all the way back to Bible times, the idea of social status still exists and it's still very predominant. And it's one thing that as Christians, we really need to fight hard against not doing that in our hearts and in our minds. Mm -hmm. um, we have to be able to associate with people of all social statuses, all of those, like the haves and have-nots, because God doesn't view us like that. Christ doesn't view us like that. He loves each and every person individually, not by how much money they have in their bank account or how much they don't have. He loves them for who they are. Uh, that was something that really stuck out to me and really hits home. So we just want to read a quick portion of this. My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing the, clo the fine clothes and say, Here's a good seat for you. But say to the poor man, you stand there, or you sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? If you go back, all the way back to Deuteronomy, and you go to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 10, verse 17, it says this, For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality and accepts no bribes. In James 5, uh, verse 5, it talks about God's chosen are those who are poor in the eyes of the world, but really they get to inherit the kingdom of God. And I think that's where we need to focus on, not on the fact that when we look around us, what are we really worshiping? Are we worshiping the famous people? Like I, I hear about the Kardashians all the time and how much people love them, but what do they really show? What do they stand for when all is said and done? We've got to self-examine ourselves and go, what am, why am I friends with this particular person? Is it because they can bring up my status at school because they are a lot more popular than I am? So I'm going to hang out with them because I don't want to be hanging out with the nerdy person over there in the corner who has no friends. That's not beneficial to me. And I feel like that's what James is getting at. Don't become friends with somebody because it benefits you. Friend them because Christ loves you. And we need to show that love to everyone. We don't get to specify who we think is worthy of that. And that's where we fall into danger a lot of the time. Um, what stuck out to me for my portion, which was 8 to 11, is how to basically follow God within like the, the law. And James says it really well. He says, if you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. For he who said you shall not commit adultery also said you shall not murder. If you do not commit adultery but do commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. So what it's saying there is... You can't just follow one part of the law and then just break everything else, right? So if you're going to follow the law the way God intended, you have to follow all of it and do it as God says, and he'll be pleased with that. Okay, so I'll just uh, I'll end us off with a quick word of prayer. So let's, uh, let's pray. Uh, Father God, I just want to thank you. And uh, even though these are these very stressful times, I do want to thank you for the blessings you've given us and for the things that we take for granted, uh, especially relationships, Father, and how you're emphasizing here through James that it's important for us not to show favoritism and to extend our love and care for others who we would deem on our sinful side as being less than us. Father, please help us to break that wall down and establish ties with people who we wouldn't normally establish ties with. And just to make that extra step to show love and compassion and just be a light in this dark time right now, Father God. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.